Hello everyone, we will continue that topic. Change document log or history for Z tables. And in the previous video, we created the change document object through SCDO transaction code. We passed our order header table. SAP generated a function module and the name of the function module is always change document object underscore write underscore document. So this is the name of our function module. If I will display this function module, we have so many logic written in this function module and we have not written this logic. SAP has written this particular logic. We simply, simply need to pass that data through this function module and SAP will automatically update that data into CD, HDR and CD post table because that is our ultimate target. We want to pass that data to change document header and change document item table. SAP has already written a logic for the same into this function module. We simply, simply need to pass the data. So SAP has given so many import parameters. We all know import stands for input. So we will simply pass that data to this import parameters. And out of these import parameters, these two import parameters will play a vital role and the game is totally, totally of this two parameters only. Now, whenever SAP will generate a function module, you will always, always see two parameters. One will start with N, another will start with O. And after N and O, you will see the name of your table for which table you are maintaining the log. If you remember, this is the name of our order header table, which we pass in the change document object. So SAP will always, always give two parameters, one with N underscore your table, another with O underscore your table. And if you see the type of these two parameters, Ultimately, type of these two parameters is referring to our table only, our order header table. Now, what is the significance of these two parameters? We all know whenever we are coming on to the log, whenever we will come on to the log or history of table. So before coming on to log and history, what do you mean by maintenance of a table? Maintenance of a table means we will go for always three things. We will insert the record, we will update the record, and we will delete the record. This is always, always three scenario. We will insert the record into database table. We will update the existing records of database table. We will delete the existing records of the database table. So now based upon insert, update and delete, these two parameters will play a vital role. Now, suppose whenever we will insert a record to database table, we will always, always pass that data to this N. N stands for new, O stands for old. Whenever we will insert a record to database table, suppose simple example, in our case, we will insert the record to the order header table. Whenever we will insert a record to order header table, 
the same data we will pass to this new we will pass to this new and whenever we will pass to this new the same to same data will store into cd hdr and cd post table because sap has written the logic for the same now we will go for second operation whenever we will delete the record from the database table. Suppose we are deleting the record from order header table. Whenever you will delete the record from the database table, that data which you are deleting, you should pass to the old parameter of this function module and SAP will store that into CD, HDR, and CD post table. This is the way how we are maintaining the log. Whenever we will insert the same to same insert data, we will pass to the new. Whenever we will delete that delete data, we will pass to the old. Now the question comes for update, update. In case of update, whatever the new value you are updating, it should be passed to this parameter and whatever the old value is there, it will pass to this parameter. Suppose simple example, we have a order number one, which has the payment mode C as of now. So order number one and C, we will pass to the old parameter. And suppose we are changing the payment mode to D. So order number one and new payment mode D, we will pass to this new parameter. So if I will just summarize these three things, in case of insert, only new is applicable. In case of delete, only old is applicable. In case of update, both are applicable, new and old. This is the full summary. In case of insert, new is applicable. In case of delete, old is applicable. In case of update, both new and old are applicable. New is for the new values. O is old is for the old values. Now, I will come on to now change indicator. We should also also tell SAP that yes, SAP provided the change indicator, change indicator. And you can see we have a parameter here. UPD underscore our table name. And this is the change indicator, change indicator. As of now, value is space. Yes, whenever we will insert the record, we will pass the value I to this change indicator. Whenever we will delete the record, we will pass the value D to this change indicator. Whenever we will update, we will simply, simply pass the value u to this change indicator. And this change indicator, we will be able to see in the CD post table, CD post table. If you see, we have same to same parameter also here. Object change indicator, which is for header table. If you want, you can pass here also in case of insert I, in case of delete D, in case of update U. Generally, yes, we always, always see that data in the item table. So we will pass I to this. Whenever we will go for insert, we will pass U. Whenever we will go for update, we will pass D whenever we will go for delete and the CD post table, we will be able to see this indicator so that everyone can understand that this is insert log, this is delete log, this is update log into this item table. So what is the summary of this particular video? 
in this video we simply simply understood the three important parameters which will play a vital role whenever we will maintain the log whenever we will use this function module two first two important parameters one starts with n underscore your table name and another starts with o underscore your table name n stands for new o stands for old in case of insert you will pass that data to new parameter in case of delete you will pass that data to old parameter in case of update we will pass that data to both new and old parameter along with this we covered change indicator this is the parameter for change indicator or sometimes people will say update indicator also yes so whenever we will go for insert we will pass the value i to this parameter whenever we will go for delete we will pass the value d to this change indicator whenever we will go for update we will pass the value u to this change indicator we will use other parameters also whenever we will call this particular function module in the next video we will call this function module inside a program and we will see yes how the various logs are going to cd post and cd hdr tables so that's it in this particular video thank you